Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and of course Cinco de Mayo. So today we're going to be taking on the Polona Poblana. Now this sandwich hails from Puebla in Mexico and the reason that's significant today is because Cinco de Mayo commemorates the battle at Puebla in 1862. In that battle, the Mexican forces who were outnumbered two to one uh, drove back the French army, which is something that apparently hadn't happened in 50 years. Um, and so it was, a, it was a pretty big victory. Unfortunately, the French battled back and uh, did take over Mexico City, but just four years later, Napoleon withdrew all his troops. And that battle supposedly marks the end of European colonialism in Latin America. And while it was commemorated in Mexico, it wasn't really a celebration. That sort of happened here in the United States thanks to uh, beer and liquor companies trying to promote it as a holiday so they could sell more booze. Now you know me, normally if an international sandwich calls for a specific type of bread or roll, I like to try and make it like I did with the bolillos for the uh, carne asada torta, but I just, I don't have the time. So the uh, rolls that this sandwich calls for are smooth on top. In fact, uh, the name is a nickname for baldies. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use a Kaiser roll that has a similar sort of uh, dome and smoothness. I'm also gonna make the shredded beef uh, in an instant pot as opposed to on the stove for several hours. Following a recipe from isabeleats.com if you're interested. And the refried beans I'm gonna use, I got from a taqueria near me because I am, again, pressed for time. So sorry about all that, but uh, I still think we'll get a tasty result. Okay, to cut up pieces of chuck, we add salt, chili powder, cumin, dehydrated onions, garlic powder, and Mexican oregano. And it all tossed together and coated. Now we brown the meat in batches. Now we add beef broth, cover, and cook under high pressure for 50 minutes. Okay, now we have to shred our meat back in the liquid, lime juice, and cilantro. Now we're to fry our bread on both sides. Okay, now we assemble refried beans, our shredded beef, shredded lettuce, shredded as my man Mason Hereford from Turkey and the Wolf says, Mexican crema, and salsa. Okay, let's give this Pelona Poblana a go. That is so good. Hmm. <laughs> That is messy, but delicious. So you've got that wonderful, tender, spice, braised beef, shredded beef. A little hit of uh, creaminess from the crema. Nice little uh, watery crunch from the iceberg lettuce. And the refried beans are nice, giving it a nice uh, little savory depth to it. This is, this is fantastic. No plus up needed. That is just a wonderful mix of flavors. I thought maybe I'd put some avocado on there, but really not necessary. From the spiced, braised, soft, shredded beef, to the, the savory refried beans, to the nice crunch of the lettuce, the, the creaminess of the Mexican crema, and of course the salsa, and then that fried bread that crunches, this is a 10 all the way. This is fantastic. I would eat one of these any day of the week. Probably shouldn't eat them every day of the week, but I'd eat one any day of the week. Definitely gonna finish that. Might do it over a couple days, but I'm definitely gonna finish that. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow. Oh.